Of course I voted no, but it was to my way of thinking and my experience and understanding of a few years, I said, no, that's unconstitutional. How did it happen? Okay, voter apathy. How many of you have gotten your ballots and thought, oh, it's the same old humdrum? We have, that's what you just asked, how are we going to address this issue? This is the most important thing. We must take voting seriously. We must take issues seriously and do something about it and get with the people that are doing things about it. Okay, and the second issue I wanted to raise, the reason, the main reason that the LDS church or any church, Catholic or anyone, would address this issue as they did is because they believe, and this is probably at the core, but they're not going to admit it, that if married couples in, in regular primary marriage, which I years ago said we should have primary and secondary marriage. Primary, go ahead and stick with the man and wife and the, the families. I had one, I loved it. Okay, but everyone has a right to have their couples, to have what they want in life. Sex, it's like flowers or eating. You do what you want to, as long as you don't have <laughs> it. I'm all for that, I'm but I just <laughs> 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 In my that, Facebook post. <laughs> <laughs> that the reason, I think the core of all of this problem is that some people believe that the children will be influenced or that will change it. And that's totally untrue. Psychiatry, medical science has proven that that is not true. When a child is a child in a family of partners, of same-sex marriages, that does not affect their ability to be who they are in any way. But I, I'm sorry, I just really wanted to mention that because that's, to me that's the thing we must keep in mind, that they're not admitting that. And I didn't see anything in that film no, about what, it. Yeah, what you're saying makes a lot of sense. And it's one Thank of the reasons you. that this trial, I think, is so important. Because what we've been fighting is, is this thing in the court of public opinion. So we put these issues on the ballot, right. and you're free to say whatever you'd like. And that's been their argument now for 30 plus years, which is this hurts children. It harms children. That was the exact wording on the ballot initiative for Proposition 8. It would harm children, protect our children. And that's, it's all false. And one of the wonderful things about taking this issue to court is they have to walk in, those very people have to walk in and raise their right hand. And they have to, they have to take an oath to tell the whole truth. And guess how many people were willing to say that under oath in a federal court of law? Zero. Out of the millions. No, no. They, they took the stand and one actually, by the end of it, said that this country would be more American the day that we adopted marriage equality. He changed his opinion on the stand under, uh, under examination by David Boys. It was amazing. But nobody, and the judge brought that up. He's like, where are your seven million people who thought this was the truth? And none of them wanted to perjure themselves on the stand by, by, by using that argument. Also, the question of um, using gays as pawns, it seems to me that in the early days of many of these initiatives throughout the nation being placed on ballots, you would see, you know, like in Kentucky or Mississippi, you know, gay, gay marriage initiatives being placed on the ballots. Like, don't you think a lot of that was the whole, um, you know, Carl Rove sort of tactics to get the butts in the seats and get conservative voters make sure they came to the polls, make sure they went in there and voted for all those initiatives and judges and things that they felt were going to, you know, impact the Bush administration positively? Yes. I mean, it was, it was used as a tool to sort of ramp up the right in that election. And in fact, one of the architects of that, uh, you'll hate that I'm saying this, was Ken Melman. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ken Melman was sort of one of the guys who engineered that election campaign for Bush. And, and, and use this idea of, a, of a, uh, an amendment to the national constitution, the U.S. constitution, to ban gay marriage. And since then, Ken Melman has come out of the closet, and he's now on the board, <laughs> and he's now on the board of AFAIR, oh and one of the guys fighting for these guys' rights. Uh, so he has changed positions uh, very publicly. And Excuse me, would you tell the crowd his former position when he was... Yeah. Oh, Ken Melman, uh, when he was, he was George, he was the head of the Republican National Party, yeah, committee. Right, yeah, right. Uh, yeah. He, was working, he was trying to get Bush elected and, and doing so by uh, railing against gay marriage. 